happy day students in this video we are going to start off with a new grammar concept models in this video we are going to revise mixed models we are going to learn about models to denote the past that is shouldn't have must have and we are also going to learn about negative forms of models that is shouldn't have and need not what is models models is nothing but a special type of auxiliary verb they alter or complete the meaning of the main verb here the models expresses the ideas such as capacity possibility obligation permission prohibition probability supposition request and desire they can also indicate the level of formality in the conversation they do not, they do not take yes for the third person singular here in this video we are going to discuss about why we are using models and when we have to use the models and how to use them here comes some of the models and their explanations the very first one is can one of the most commonly used models in english is can it can express ideas such as capacity permission or request for example she can speak french it is nothing but capacity he can come in now that is permission can you lend me your pen please that is request the next model is could it expresses the possibility past ability as well as suggestions and requests extreme rain could cause the river to flood the city that is nothing but the possibility right john could run very fast when he was younger that is past ability we are talking about the past ability of john when he could run very fast when he was younger so here comes the next model may it is most commonly used to express possibility it can also be used to give or ask for permission some of the examples are maria may be at school or at home may he leave the room with me asking for permission yes he may leave the room with you this is giving permission here comes the next model that is might it is more commonly used to indicate possibility however it can also be used to make suggestions or requests this is a rare use though examples your black pack your backpack might be under the desk this is the possibility right you might go to wardrobe during your visit this is just a suggestion might i open the door this is nothing but the request when you are talking about must it can be used to talk about certainty right that is something you are almost sure which is true moreover it can be used to talk about obligation prohibition necessity or strong recommendation according to the usage we can see the examples she must be sick she never gets late to school this is nothing but the probability we are telling she must be sick because she never gets late to school students must pass an entrance examination to study at this school this this shows the necessity and the next model is shall it indicates a future action it is more commonly used with the first person singular and plural i and we often found in suggestions promises or predestinations the examples are shall we set the table i shall never leave you leave your sight this is the promise she shall become our next queen this is the predestination and the next important model is will it is more commonly used to talk about future situations it can also be used to talk about the present when we want to make a request it is also used in situations in which we make instant decisions say for example i will call you later this refers to the future action then here comes the request will you close the window please i love the t-shirt i'll take it instant decision so here comes the important model ought to this is very very important it is used to advise or make recommendations it can also express assumptions expectations or strong probability when the context implies 
that something is deserved. She ought to stop eating red meat. That is recommendation. Sam ought to get a promotion. This is the expectation because he deserves it. Those apartments ought to increase in value due to the construction of the new mall. This is nothing but the assumption. And the next one is you ought to know. This is nothing but we are telling you ought to know. Right? This is about the suggestion. The next one is would. It is more commonly used to create conditional verb tenses. In addition, it can be used to make offers, request, and talk about past habits. For example, if I were you, I would not do that again. This is a second conditional clause. The next one is, would you like some cake? This is nothing but the offer. Here we are going to discuss about the other modals which can be used to make conditional sentences like could, might, will, and should. If I knew her name, I might tell. I could have told you the truth if you had listened to me. If I should see him, I'll give him the message. These are all the common models like can, could, may, might and their meanings like ability, possibility and permission and probability and possibility again. And here are the some more, some more models like must, have to, ought to, will and would. And here we are going to talk about the negative models also. Should not have, would not have. For example, if you are going for should not have, what is the meaning? Which is not proper for, right? You should not have that book with you. It is not for you. The next one is would not have. It is very unlikely, right? The unlikely situations. For such cases, we can use would not have. And must have, we can use it for the models. The must have can be used for almost certain conditions. And the next one is need not or dare not. Need not is used for lack of necessity. You need not help me. And the next one is dare not. That is talking about the courage. Okay. The next one is the recap about the models. So here we have discussed the number of models and their usage. I hope this video would be useful for you all. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Have a good day.